how's everybody doing thanks for joining me welcome back so today i have a like haul video for you and also a boxy charm unboxing so my haul and my boxy charm i did shop at sephora and did go to macy's so if you guys would like to see what i picked up uh and what i got in my boxy charm keep on watching Okay, so I thought we'd go ahead and do the boxy charm first. This is my very first boxy charm. I wasn't really sure which one I really wanted to dedicate to, and I've seen good things a lot of times from the boxy charm from a lot of people when I'm watching them, and I came to the conclusion that that one I don't know if I'll be one of those ones that want to try every single one because you know that can get costly, even though some of them aren't all. That expensive. This one I believe is $15 a month and a lot of times you're supposed to get more than what you pay monthly for your subscription. I did already open up some stuff and looked at it and everything. Uh, I'm terrible with that. I am not somebody that's good with waiting or something. I don't know why, just always have been, but I'm going to show you what I did get in here. I will tell you I was quite happy. So uh, it says, and the charm award goes to, so you're, you can enter for a chance to win an exclusive boxy charm worth $250. And then it shows you, you know, the here's how, and then they all come with the nice card that tells you what you get. And it will tell you the price of the product itself off to the side and totally can see already here. This is way over what I paid the $15 for. Des, Adesi New York Organic Infused Nail Treatment Essentials is the company. Here it is right here. And looking on here, it is the Ultra Suede Matte, matte Top Coat. And this is a full size. Uh, it mattifies any polish by delivering a flawless smooth matte finish super sophisticated look for any manicure this is $18 I guess for this product now I'm not always a person that likes a lot of matte um, matte things like matte foundation or lipsticks or any of that stuff it's hit and miss for me so I've never done but here's what the bottle looks like I've never done that I'm not always on par with my nails I should work on that. I don't know why I don't I love all beauty products. I even love nail polish, but I lack on that so badly. Why? I don't know. The next product I looked and noticed was a body butter and it says glow for a cause. Here's the container right here is what it looks like. And the scent in here smells quite nice. It's a soft, I would say soft, almost baby powder type of a scent. I don't know, it's a nice scent. It's soft. So I'm glad of that. But it says Glow for Cause Body Butter. I guess this is a full size. This is uh, $14. It's a magical blend of sparkling light florals, white tea, and uh, bergamot grounded by light musks. That must be why I like it. A luxuriously rich body butter with nature's best nourishing oils of coconut, jojoba, sunflower, and vitamin E. Hydrates and protects the skin while leaving behind a sexy and lasting scent. I might check this company out. See more what they have. So got a pure, uh, from Pure Cosmetics, I got a 25% off uh, card here. Um, you know, like where I can get 25% off, which I really like a lot of Pure Cosmetics items. I do have... A lot of their products a lot of them have been sent to me and then there has been some I purchased as well I would love to get and I'm hoping to get the trolls palette so they did send a mineral glow bronzing powder in here and this looks to be even a full size I think these are all full size pure mineral glow bronzer full size uh, mineral glows mineral glows micronize mineral powder has rich golden undertones to add a sun-kissed contour to your complexion. Use this as a quick fix bronzer for all your healthy glow. And this is $25. Here's what the packaging looks like. It has like the window there you can see. It's a pretty nice big size. 
and it does have it does have a glow to it I can see it right on top there's the shade right there like you can't probably see the shimmering shade and that looks like to be a pretty good bronzer for me so I'm kind of anxious to try it out the next thing in here is from a company called uh, vintage which I have heard several people really like there was a highlighter in their box this is an illuminating face uh, highlighter set so there's two of them in this one vintage highlighter double chocolate diamond and rose quartz it's a full size this is 35 bucks so you can already tell I'm already past the $15 mark at a beautiful wash of color and subtle sexy shimmer with this limited edition oh it's a limited edition even illuminating face highlighter set wear it alone or as a beautiful highlight of a pretty blush or bronzer the reflecting pearls add radiance on contact adding a delicate glow and diamond like finish to the skin the casing almost reminds me of uh, a Kat Von D bronzer packaging I have um, but it's it's a pretty nice packaging there's the rose gold shade here and then the di chocolate diamond here I'm swiping in the rose gold that's the rose gold there Ooh. oh my oh that's nice I see why a lot of people were like it that's really nice there you go and then the chocolate diamond one oh chocolate diamond has a nice champagne to it yeah champagne well, that's pretty so that one's more chocolate diamond right here and then lastly my very first fan brush I've never had a fan brush and this one is from the so Susan fan brush it's a full size this is $18.95 it's a versatile brush made with from made from best quality synthetic nylon and is it Taclon hairs only that's what it has on it let's do this so we're going to go on this side here I'm going to dip in the rose quartz one oh yeah oh yeah there, there you see the glow so that was everything that I got in my boxy charm and I was quite happy there is a lot of nice items in here that I'm looking forward to trying out for the first time I just only go to Sephora we went out shopping and my Sephora is in JCPenney so it's not like there's a whole lot but it's still nice because they do have brands in there that like obviously Ulta doesn't have but I did go to Macy's first I went into Macy's because I, well, I loved going to Macy's anyway and I wanted to go and look around at the counters at Estee Lauder I kind of forgot Lancome but I don't know if there was a Lancome one there or not probably wasn't I just misperceived it definitely looked around at Estee Lauder and there is some products I would like to try and then I thought oh Clinique so I actually went to the Clinique area I wanted to try one of the cheek pops their cheek blushes and so I was looking at those I kind of had an idea of which ones I wanted to look at because there was several that was um the, there was the nude shade the ginger shade you know there was a lot of nice pretty colors but this is the one that I kept wanting for a while now and it is the pansy pop and it's more of the one that's uh the purple pink tone color i see pansy pop back here so there's pansy pop uh the number is 15 and i do have it on my cheeks today um it, it, you do have to build up a little bit i did notice that because I, I did put this on and everything but it is a gorgeous color really really pretty color here's what it looks like in, in the casing if you want to see it and here's the color here on my finger not sure how well you'll see it there but it's a really pretty lilac shade there it is right there it's a nice faint uh, lilac pink shade so I'm actually wearing this and so far I'm liking it I don't find it to be too bad so far I'm, I'm so far liking it this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer and it has that 
big fat doe foot applicator, as you can see there. And so it's different, you know, it's different. It's your concealer foundation all in one. My shade looks like it says Cream Whip. Mine looks like in the shade Cream Whip. I'm not sure. She matched me. And so far, yeah, this has been working really nice. I just, today's my first day having it on, but I am liking the coverage. It seems to do pretty good full coverage. Okay, Macy's. Oh my goodness. So, okay, I went into Macy's and I didn't know, I knew what I wanted to look at and then I didn't know what I wanted to look at. And so I knew one product I wanted to get and I didn't know if I want the smaller one or the larger one. I did look at the larger one and it's from the Tardiest. This one is the Pro, Pro Glow To Go and this is the smaller version. They do have uh, the larger one. I kind of went back and forth with it a little bit. It's like, I still might get it. I don't know. There's a cream bronzer in there and I'm okay with cream bronzers, but I don't gravitate to them all that much. It's super cute. It's, you know, the little uh, mini me as I would call it. And it does have the um, closure, the magnetic closure that a lot of them have. And it has just the three shades, oops, the three shades in there. It has like two highlights and then the bronzer. The funny thing is it smells like chocolates. I'm noticing they're doing, I'm noticing Tarte's doing the same thing as Too Faced with adding the chocolate scent in there. But this is what it looks like. Sorry for any glare with the mirror part. That's the bronzer right there. And it's called Chisel Gleam. Here's one of the highlighters. It's called Gleam. That's this one here. That's really pretty. And then Burst is the one in the middle. That's this one here. So there, uh, there they all are right there. Bronzer is a really nice color for me. The one um, Gleam has more of a pearlized finish to it and the other one has um, a champagne finish. So another product I wanted to try out and I've seen these are relatively new for sure. This is definitely new. Um, it's from the Buxom. It's the Plump Line Lip Liner uh, Crayons. They're in these big boxes here. These are really big. My shade I got is Dolly Danger, which Dolly is one of my favorite shades in the Buxom line. And that is kind of what I worked in on my lips with the Mally lip thing that I have. This is really nice. I think I'm going to get a couple more shades because I did swatch a couple other shades in there. But look how big this thing is. This is a nice big lip pencil. And whoops, that's the brush. That's the one side that has the brush. And you can just kind of use it to, you know, rub, put into your lips and everything or work around your lips a little bit more. And then here is the pencil side. Oh my goodness. There's the color. It is so pretty. That's Dolly Danger. I really, really like it. So, so walking around too, I didn't know. I thought I want to get an eyeshadow palette. Uh, oh, one of them I was trying to look for actually was, and believe it or not, they had no Kat Von D eyeshadow palettes. Uh, they had her like contouring palette and everything. I also was looking for the new, um, you can use them as highlights or eyeshadows through that duochrome. They didn't have that. It was like, any some things I was looking for, they were just like gone. One company, I do have an eyeshadow palette, a couple other things from them of their eyeshadows, but the palette I love the most, and it's from Smashbox. And Smashbox does have their Wonder Vision palette that I use a lot. Um, I do like Smashbox, like some of their blushes, uh, some of their other products, but their eyeshadows are really good in that palette. So I've seen, they have several different sets of these. These are like 30 bucks a piece. Like, and these are the cover shot. Are they all called? Yeah, they're called the cover shot uh, eye palette. And each one is different. They had like one that had bold matte colors, uh, one that had like all smoky or something like that. I ended up getting the cover shot metallic one. This is the metallic one. And then this other one, I got cover shot golden hour. This one here. This is the metallic palette. And they're so super cute because 
the one they have this here like where you can my lighting's not doing too well they're my ring light thing so but you can see you can move it and it and all you have to do is lift up here it is um, a magnetic closure here are the shades and the metallic one right here my lighting probably won't do it justice but there are some of the shades and the metallic um, this yellow is one of the reasons why I wanted it to isn't that funny like one shade in there is like a huge but that's it's a real pretty yellow I'm into all that golden yellow color so there's that one this one here on the end it looks almost like a gunmetal shade they're very super soft and very pigmented there's that one there it's like gunmetal kind of a shade so there's that there is no matte shades in this one though there's no matte at all and then the golden hour i think it has like two mattes on the top yeah here's the golden hour one this is the golden hour it has like this plummy purple here and a peach shade like right there these two on these ends like on the bottom here these longer ones are matte uh shades this peach shade i think that's what this is like a peachy coppery shade or something it's on this finger right there so pretty right there it is it is such a pretty pretty color that plummy shade i was talking about like it's almost like cranberry plum shade or something or brown purple cranberry shade it's really pretty that's it there and here i think i liked really well it's yeah it's like a bronze shade this one right here oh my goodness this one's a really nice one the golden hour too so i can't wait to use some of those those are pretty and then while in there you know how it is you walk around so you can get like the deluxe sample size of stuff you walk around and see them so i did and i tried this today and it seems pretty good so far is the smashbox photo finish foundation primer oil free pour pour minimizer so i got one of those i've been wanting to try it so i got one of those this I've wanted for quite some time and I've heard Terra Babies talk about it and one other YouTuber on here. This is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder and it's in light. They did have the light. I got the last one that was in light though because the other one was like medium. And this is going to probably last me for a while. I, it was actually $10 for the deluxe size sample. It really gives a nice illumination like you can put it all over on your face. Uh, like it says it's a setting powder and um, it just it looks really nice so I'm quite happy with that I was gonna get the Laura Mercier powder too I might get that the next time um, but I see there's only a few of these left and I wanted to grab it and for some of my points I just got one of the vice lipstick um, this one's in venom it's kind of a pretty dark color so it's a cute little mini me you know and the color is Venom, so it's this real deep purpley berry plum shade. There it is there. That looks pretty. That will probably look good on me because it looks very dark here and scary, but then there you look and it's a nice uh, berry tone and it looks like it's in the blue tone family. So that looks really nice. All right, guys, so I believe that is it. That is my damage that I did um when i was out shopping that day so all right beauties thanks so much for joining me i really appreciate it if you did like this video please give me a thumbs up that would help me out so much and i'd really appreciate that also if you are not subscribed to my channel you can come and join me each week i would love to have you go ahead and click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell as well so that you're notified of when my new videos are up and as always beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.